Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, this week's yoga installment. I didn't get a lot of uh, feedback with regards to uh, the Yoga Shred inspiration and um, I'm personally loving it and I used it here in a couple of my classes and I had uh, some really positive feedback and some muscles found that we weren't really sure that we had prior to doing the shred. So in that respect, I'm really liking that it's getting into some of my much needed places. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to just do a little warm up. We're going to go through two shreds, so two full tabatas, so four minutes each, so a total of eight minutes. We'll do a little warm up at the beginning, we'll go through the shreds, and then we'll do a little cool down stretch at the end. Hopefully keeping this under the 15 to 20 minute mark for everybody. I know uh, time is not always our friend, but uh, the nice thing about these shreds is that they really do pack a whole lot into uh, four minutes of cardio and strength and everything else that we need. So bring yourself to standing. Um, always, always, always my first order of business is to bring myself into my body, connecting uh, breath with my body, releasing uh, any of the distractions that might stand between me and getting the most out of my workout. And I have both dogs again today, so it's just going to be fun. All right, we're just, we're going to ignore them. We're going to just focus on <laughs> what's going on inside. So find your feet, all four corners. Nice deep breath. Connect to your mat. Inhale and lift up and out of your body, shoulders down the back. Any movements you need to make to find length in your spine, we're going to come into some nice deep breaths. Okay, once more. Good. Step your feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to keep the lower body anchored and we're just going to spin the arms from side to side working into our Chinese drum loosening them up stay in your breath stay in your body good big sweeps and let the weight of your arms really pull excellent slowing it down good and finding your feet together again. We're going to take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees. Fold forward. Come to resting the belly and the ribs on the thighs. Catching the elbows. Allow the head, neck, and shoulders to release. Any movements you need to make here. Breathing deep into that lower back. Loosening up the lower back. Hmm. Relax the shoulders. Excellent. Root down into your feet. Activate the legs and begin to roll yourself up nice and slow. Really think about stacking each vertebrae on top of the next. <sighs> shoulders down the back. Inhale, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, shoulders down the back. Just move, loosen up. All right, so our first shred is a chair pose. And our um, first Tabata is all about the legs and the glute. And we're gonna use some fists of fire to really draw some power into our cells and our workout. Um, and really get that mindset focused on, yeah, we got this. Um, so in your chair pose, in the, we're just going to move in and out of chair pose for the first four rounds of this uh, first shred. And so if you come into bringing the big toes together, heels slightly splayed, the way that we come into our chair pose, all right, we're grounded down into our mat, our legs are activated, Core is engaged and we're lifting our body long from the sides and from the spine. So really think about that length. Shoulders are up and back. So we're gonna hinge at the knee and hinge at the hip, sending the sit bones out behind us 
to chair. All right, so lift the belly in and up, sit bones reaching back. Next thing we're going to do on the exhale is we're going to come to fists of fire and stand. All right, it's just that simple. And we're going to repeat the motion. We're going to go as slow or as fast as we need to. Miss Doodle, can I just have you come over to the side of the mat so I can get to what I need to? All right, so I'm going to start. Um, the Tabata timer, and we're gonna get ready. Starting your tablet and workout. All right, so find your feet. Exercise. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fist of fire. Power down into your feet. Really push up, down into the feet. Activate the legs. Use the glutes to send the hips forward and back. Excellent. One round down. Use those rests because they do become important as you get Exercise. moving along. Inhale. to increase this just a little bit if you want to up the ante. And again, you're going as slow and as fast as you want. Inhale to chair. Exhale and up on the toes. Inhale back. You can slow it down. Good. Find what works for you here in the breathing as fast or as slow as you need. Last round on this one. round we're coming into lunge so bring yourself back into your lunge position exercise inhale exhale pull inhale to lunge exhale to pull good step it off and switch over to the other side with our lunge. Really try and find a focal point, keep the core engaged. Exercise. Inhale, exhale, pull. Falling off your mat. Exercise. Coming into your lunge. Inhale. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lunge. Core is engaged. Lift. Good. Step it off. Yes. One more round here. <laughs> so, stepping back, set it up. Lunge, inhale, exhale, feel your power, yes. awesome, step it off, fantastic, so, Take two minutes <laughs> and just move. So coming into ways to bring that heart rate down, you can come to rest here. Nice deep breaths, let it out through the mouth. If 
feel things return to normal. Stretch out that glute. So our next uh, Tabata is um, core, and we are gonna come down onto our backs. And so, um, again, I have two different exercises. And if I'm going to keep talking, I'm gonna need a drink. <laughs> so grab a drink and come on down onto your mat. Our first exercise is the one we did from last week, all right? So I wanted to keep some familiarity and things for you so that you can um, continue to get better at things and feel more empowered in what you're doing. Uh, the more familiar we become with uh, these movements, two things. One is a caution and one is a, is, a, is a great. We can become better at our form, all right? We become stronger in our form when we are able to do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> The other thing is we could become lazy in our form and stop connecting with the movement and thinking about what we're doing. So don't get lazy in it because you think, oh yeah, I've done this one, I know this, and, and just keep going. Always really focus in on what you're doing. That's why it's so important to be in your body while you're working out. You need to feel what's happening everywhere in your body so that you know that you're not out of form and you're not creating a stress injury later, all right? So really pay attention to what's happening in your body when you're working out. Crucial. I know I use that word a lot. Life is crucial. Um, okay, so this one, we are coming hands behind us and I really want you to lift long through the spine and push the chest up, all right? We're gonna come to sit in the nice little cushy spot between our tailbone and our sit bones. And we're gonna bring our feet up and we're gonna lift one hip and then the other, all right? So as you're lifting your um, right hip, you're gonna open your chest to the right and then you're gonna switch. Use those oblique muscles, get that little subtle twist. <sighs> Cersei, come on over here and lay down. Come on, lay down, lay down, good girl. All right, here we go. We're gonna start the workout, except I pushed the wrong button. Ooh, no, we don't want to go. Okay. Sorry. So much for keeping the video short. All right, here we go. Set it up. Exercise. Good. Drop. And lift, and lift. And again here, go as fast or as slow as you need or want to. Sometimes I want a real slow burn, and other times I want to pick up the speed and really get those fibers twitching. Excellent. Rest. Bring the hands to the knees. Inhale, lift the chest forward. Nice little back bend. And bring it back. Set it up. Side to side. Find your breath. Think about your body. Where are you feeling this? What all's going on? Last one. Last. Inhale, draw it up. Pull up nice and long and exhale, round back. Here we go, setting it up. Nice deep breath. Exercise. And go. Really? work into those core muscles. Think about how much you're using them, lifting up the chest, twisting the hips side to side, keep the legs pressed together. Last one. Excellent. Bring it back. Inhale, round it up. Give the pooch a kiss. <laughs> All right, coming into our last round on this exercise. Here we go. And tip, tip. This is what happens when I pay attention to her. Then she thinks it's playtime and I'm gonna get mauled. <sighs> Keep those chests up. Chest. 
Excellent. That was the last round on this exercise. Our next exercise is going to come all the way down onto our back. Hands coming behind your head. We're going to lift the chest towards the ceiling. So we're getting that nice little curl way down deep into those core muscles. Keep the lower back pressed into the mat. We're just pulling up to the bottom of the shoulder blades. Big stretch overhead, nice deep breath. Stretch those muscles long. <sighs> Let it go. Here we go. Round twos, lift. Keep the elbows nice and wide. Try not to pull your neck forward. You actually wanna be pressing your head back into your hands. Use your breath as fast or as slow as you want to go here. And rest. Big stretch. Reach it out. Sometimes I really like to come into a slow, controlled movement. And other times I just want to bust out. Lift. Excellent. You should know where your core is right now. <laughs> One more round of these, and then we're going to stretch it out. Good, big stretch. <sighs> Let it go. <sighs> Feeling super strong. All right, here we go. Last round. Lift. Way down deep into those core muscles. All the way down to the bottom of your pelvic floor. Lift. Press the head back into the hands. And breathe. Speed it up. Excellent. Reach. Stretch. Awesome. Step the feet in. And that's us done. Congratulations. It says you're awesome. Done. Great workout. Great workout. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take our hands behind our head. Open the uh, shoulders up, Cersei. Come on, please go lay down. Lay down. Thank you. Elbows open up, shoulders resting down on the floor. We're going to bring our feet to a mat width apart, and I want you to think about just allowing the knees to collapse into each other. Don't worry if they touch or don't touch, it's irrelevant. Just allow them to relax into each other. Nice deep breath. Good. We're going to send both arms way up to the ceiling. Nice deep breath. We're going to cross paths. Tighten up that cross across your body. And then just allow your arms to collapse on either side of you. Nice deep breaths. Open your mouth. Let it go. All those fists of fire. All that power. Body's feeling good. Feeling strong. Good, one more nice deep breath here. Excellent. Bring the arms up, roll the wrists, pulse the fingers. We're going to open up the knees again, and I want you to just allow them to fall from side to side. So let yourself come into windshield wiper legs. Loosening everything up. Excellent. We're going to bring the knees in, Cersei. Bring the knees in. <laughs> Cersei, you're such a nuisance. Go on, lay down. Go on. She's found something on the floor. Both knees in to the chest. Nice deep breath. Elbows out and rock it side to side. Good. Um, we're going to cross up the ankles. Hands are coming behind the thighs. Lift up the head, neck, and shoulders and round the spine. We're going to roll between the tailbone and the shoulders. So back and forth. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. We're going to just come into a nice seated pose. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for sharing space with me and Cersei. She's determined to be the next big yoga dog. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the workouts. 
spend a little time stretching out a little bit more. We apologize for cutting everybody short, but it's clearly not going to get any better. Nice big breath. Inhale all the way up. Gather up all that power, all that energy. Exhale, bringing it down into your heart. Thank you so much for sharing space with me. Namaste.